webinar is on attitude measurement and scales of attitude measurement. Now, in social science researches, measuring attitudes is one of the basis in which you conduct the research. It becomes very important in a social science research to measure the attitude of a particular person towards something. Now, most of the researchers have the basic topic or the topic lingers around attitude measurements. For example, preference towards luxury goods, the preference of somebody towards uh, a laptop or preference of uh, males towards uh, very hunky bikes, preference of or the attitude towards um, very gaudy dresses or saris or exquisite uh, jewelries etc by females. So all these are the attitudes of people towards different products or things or maybe towards, towards human beings also. Now uh, measuring them is complex because it is something very close to their heart. It's very cognitive. Now uh, it is very it might be a little easier to uh, measure things that is black and white. For example you take the you take the biological researches where or in any such kind of researches where you have yes or no answers for example you take this particular uh, medicine and the illness is it, it cures illness so it's a yes or no kind you take it it if it is good the illness is cured if it is not good it's poison or something if the illness is not cured so it is yes or no thing so uh, but it is not that easy when it comes to attitude because that is very cognitive and it might be like very close to their heart. So attitude measurement is a set of questions or statements which measures human behaviors or feelings. It is also called hypothetical construct because it is very hypothetical and abstract. You cannot very, very clearly say about the attitude and that your measurement towards attitude can be very precise. It is just like a hypothetical construct. Now, what do you mean by hypothetical construct? It is a variable that is not directly observable, but is measured through indirect indications such as verbal expressions or overt behavior. Now, uh, what is you, you want to measure your attitudes towards um, a celebrity, for example, what is your liking or attitude towards um, Michael Jackson or what is your attitude towards um, a heroine like Deepika Padukone or Ran Ranveer Singh so or Kohli, Virat Kohli. So it is a very inert thing. So it is very complicated. So um, attitude has three basic um, inherent um, basis like affective component cognitive component and behavioral component. Now, affective component of attitude is that reflects general feelings or emotions towards an object. Now, cognitive component refers to one's awareness of the knowledge about an object. And behavioral component is how one behaves towards that particular uh, object or person or thing. So, um, Attitude measurement can be basically of four different categories. It could be like um, a ranking, respondent rank the events or activities on the basis of the characteristics, or it could be rating, or it could be sorting, or it could be choice. So rating is you, the respondent estimate the magnitude of a characteristic or a quality that an object possesses, or it could be sorting. It, you could, the, the respondent can classify the concepts, or it could be choice. Respondents choose between two or more alternatives. So the different types of attitude scales can be basically like single item scale or multi item scale. Now single item scales could be like itemized category scales, rank order, comparative scale, constant sum, Q sort scale, paired comparison or pictorial scales. In multi item scale you have Likert scales, semantic differential scales, Thurston scale and staple scales. Now, I'm not going to describe each and every scales, but my intention was basically to make you understand what is attitude measurement and what are the different scales that is available. So um, you can just 
have a little check about the different types of scales like itemized category scales, rank order scales, etc. from my previous webinar because that is almost the same that is getting repeated here. So attitude, web, attitude scales and their measurement was uh, the intention of making you understand about this in this webinar. I hope you are clear about this. So we'll have little more concepts coming up in my coming webinar. Thank you very much.